being a champion just like being a king you always have to be ready for battle and in this instance as we talk about it you have to consider a king like Joe Cordina who just recently won back his IBF super featherweight title with his victory over Sean Rockmandal on April 22nd. But he cannot rest on his laurels because challenges await just around the corner and WBC champion Oshaki Foster has laid down the gauntlet and said for Cordina I've got the smoke for you so what do you think about a fight on the horizon for unification between Cordina and Oshaki Foster is this what we're waiting for let's talk about it Championship medal. That's what we're talking about when you talk about putting two fighters together that want to prove that they're the best. Oshaki Foster, earlier this year, February of 2023, was able to fight for and obtain the vacant WBC Super Featherweight title. And so now, Already, he's ready to go up against the other champion in the division. Now, what I like about that is getting down to business right away, without delay. Fighters who want to pit their wares against other fighters and prove who's the best. There's nothing wrong with that. We need more of that. In fact, that's kind of the way it used to be old school, when fighters could get in there and just go for it to settle and see who's best. Now, again, take Oshaki Foster, who earlier this year won a fight against Ray Vargas for the vacant IBF, uh, excuse me, WBC super featherweight title. It was a unanimous decision for Foster. And he fought admirably against Ray Vargas, who seemed to struggle quite a bit in the fight. It was one of those fights that after his split decision win over Mark McSayo, Vargas came into this fight, made some coaching changes, and decided to head right in there. But the judges had it unanimous for Oshaki, who has had his ups and downs in his career. But right now, he appears to be on the correct track. And the fact that he wants to go right after another champion shows that he doesn't have a problem with that. As he's preparing for whatever's on the horizon, He's ready to bring his current record of 20 and 2 with 11 KOs in against whomever is ready to step up to the tech challenge. But Joe Cordina, coming off of his recent victory over Shah Rachmandal, is seeing things change up for him as well. He had to go 
and get his title away from Shab after he was stripped due to a hand injury. Now, that's not the best way to lose your title at all. But that was the rules of that sanctioning organization, which he fights for. So his record now of 16 and 0 with nine KOs stands as a measure. If Oshaki wants this fight, hey, let's do it. Let's put it on the line. Let's see what can happen. But I'll tell you this: these two men have the type of styles that could make for quite an interesting fight. They both are boxers. They both have a decent pop on their punches. But I believe that this would be a chess match and it will come down to who has the better ring IQ on the night of the bout. According to Boxing Scene's article earlier today, April 30th, 2023, in an article by Hans Themistor, Joe Cordina's moment in the sun was incredibly transient following a jaw-dropping second-round stoppage win over Kenichi Ogawa in 2022. He proudly draped the IBF super featherweight title over his shoulders, though he was convinced that he would have a protracted stint atop the division. Cordina was forced to vacate his newly won crown due to a bothersome hand injury. And after quickly healing, he fought and reclaimed what was rightfully his by a split decision against Shab Rachmanov this past weekend. Now, the interesting thing about Cordina's situation, he should have been granted time to just heal and rest up. But that's not what they wanted. They wanted him to get in there and face his number one contender, which was Shaw, but he wasn't able to do so. So guess what? They took the title away from him. Now, he has reclaimed it. So we have Foster, who's willing to step in there and give it a go against Cordina. These two men, the way that they box, they're kind of near one another in height and reach. I think maybe off by an inch or so because Cordina, who's 5'9", with a 69-inch reach, is 31 years of age, and Foster, who is 5'8 and a half with a 72-inch reach, is 29. They're both prime fighters and ready to go. Will they make this match? It's an outstanding opportunity for both men because in the super featherweight division, there is an audience that likes these men of this size because they bring decent power and speed, movement, and they throw volumes of punches, which is always crowd-pleasing. Now, I believe that these two combatants can bring that to the ring and showcase the best of what the sport has to offer when they do, if they do, come together. But I'll tell you this, it's not going to be a cakewalk for either man. Cordina has shown some vulnerabilities. He can be caught in between style, meaning that he's a boxer puncher and he looks to set shots up. And though he showed and displayed more athleticism than Rachmanov, he would not be able to have that advantage over Oshaki Foster. Foster is the more athletic of the two, has more speed, but will Oshaki be able to use the ring smarts in this fight? It's definitely something to consider. I know that both men will be willing Put it all on the line and challenge one another. Do you think that one has more will than the other? I believe one does, but at this time, I won't say who it is. But I do feel that if this fight is made, it could be one of the best fights of the year. And a unification to boot. Who do you think 
can prevail with this fight. It's an exciting time in boxing when young fighters are deciding to come out and face one another, get in the ring, show their wares, and go for it all. Go for the gusto. Yeah. Now, as we get through the year, both men may take another fight in between. But wouldn't this make a great autumn matchup? I believe it would. What do you think? Both fighters can be crowd pleasing, and both fighters can end fights when their opponents make mistakes. So it would be a chess match. And I believe the person who is the most intelligent and is able to implement his game plan on the night of is the one who will be victorious. Would you like to see? This is Stormy B Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what your thoughts are about these two dynamic young champions. Would you want to see a unification between the two of them? Would you want to see a total undisputed champion at super featherweight it would be exciting let me know your thoughts leave comments and let's discuss further peace to everyone out there and everyone please remain safe